Paro Ninja. Welcome to Pilot Ninja, a content series where we uncover things that frankly we couldn't find on the internet when we were learning how to use Pardot. We'll go through tips and tricks, pitfalls, things to look out for because with automation things can go wrong, but things can go really, really right and they can help you drive great business results through the use of Pardot and the Salesforce platform. So get stuck in, enjoy, please give us feedback because a lot of the um, content will be driven by user feedback and let us know how you go. Ooh. Cheers. Hey everyone, today we're going to look at uh, pilot forms and how we can report on form submissions in a more granular way straight into Salesforce. Um, this can help on many different fronts, but especially in businesses where you are consumer facing and you might have uh, your customers submitting inquiry forms or different forms along the way and you want to be able to track uh, you know, effectiveness or how oft, how many, you know, how many times particular campaigns are, are needing people to come through forms before they're converting, especially if you're running a lot of advertising in different channels. This can be a great way to give you a little bit more visibility over what's going on. So you're going to need a few things to be able to um, put this together and we'll go through them all now. So first of all, you need some custom fields on the Salesforce side. So if you don't have system admin access to do this, you'll need to work alongside your system admin. There's only three fields that need to be done in the lead and the contact object. So form submissions, uh, and you can call these whatever you like by the way, but the gist of this is it's essentially a counter that um, displays and records and through automation, we can continue to increase the number so we can see how many form submissions this particular person has made. Um, the next one is last form submitted. So this is just a text field and we essentially stamp the name of the form that they've most recently filled out. And the last field is a date field that records the submission date on which they last submitted a form. Now, a really important part here <clears throat> in your, if your business uses a data model where there's contacts and leads or person accounts and leads, you're going to need the exact same field API names on both. And that's so Pardot's prospect object can connect to both of these simultaneously. So that's important. So if you need to go back and have a look at that section again. Once you've done that, you're going to have your um, Pardot fields created in here as well and all synced. Now, we've got other videos that show how to do all that. So we're going to skip all of that sort of stuff here and just focus on um, the strategic side of it. So we're going to need a form and a list. Um, so you can go ahead and create your segmentation list and add it to your completion action. So I do want to show you here specifically what we've done. So within the completion actions of this form, we have selected change prospect custom field value. We've chosen the submission date field. And you can see here there are time-based options here because it's a date field. So we've chosen submission date. So on the day it comes through, it's stamped with that submission date. Again, we want to create another completion action to change the uh, prospect custom field value. This time we want it to be last form submitted and it's a text field. So we want to put the name of the form in this field. And like I said before, we want to add them to the list, the segmentation list that we've created. Once we're good to go, we can save that. And then we can jump into our engagement program. So that list that we've created is important here because it feeds this engagement program. So what you see is as I pause this so I can show you how it's built, you can see here that that list that I mentioned is the, what's the, known as the recipient list for this particular um, engagement program and we are allowing it to be what's referred to as a repeatable engagement program where um, we're letting um, prospects come back through this engagement program multiple times. The reason for this is so that it can handle 
Um, like I said at the start, consumers that submit multiple inquiry forms. So once they come in through the form, they come in through this list which feeds the engagement program, the first thing we do is we check to see if they're a lead or a contact. If they are, we notify their assigned user. So they're getting notified straight away. The person that they're used to dealing with will be notified and they can follow them up. If they're not, in this instance, we've gone with the use case where a business might only have one salesperson. So we're just assigning that user and notifying them. In larger businesses, we can assign via queues, via um, active assignment rules, via groups. There's many different ways um, that you can talk to your Pardot partner or your Pardot admin about when it comes to this stage. And then regardless who it's assigned to or who's been notified, we're adding this step in, which is changing a prospect field value, the form submission field. We want to increase the increment by one. Now we can do this because it's a number field. So it's important that you get your field types right when you're building these out. The last step is removing them from the list that actually got them into the, into the engagement program. The reason why we do this is because it's a repeatable list. So we don't want them re-entering automatically because they're still in that list and you know notifying people too many times and causing all sort of data issues. So we wanna make sure that that's there. The only way they can come back in here now is if they submit a form again. Great, so to take you through the process, we have a form and I'm just gonna go to the back end instead of going to an actual landing page. Because I've submitted a form in the past, it's only asking me to confirm my email address. I'm gonna press submit. Now we know that that's gone through. If I refresh this, We should now see that the, the form has been submitted. Yep, great. So I can tell you that that is <laughs> the time and date right now. Um, so as we've seen, the form, the, the form submission has been registered. If we go into the list, actually we'll go into the prospect record first and we'll be able to see that the fields have been updated to today's date and we can see uh, I've already come in previously, so the form submission number is already one. Um, and the last form submitted is that form that we've just come in from. So what we want to do now is we want to go to this list here that we're adding prospects to when they submit. You can see I've been added, which means that when we go to the engagement program, we'll see that the number at the top will be two once I start running it, that is. Okay, so I'm just gonna pause the recording while we run this engagement program. Okay, so the contact will, the, the inquiry will now flow through this engagement program. My record's already in the system, so it'll notify my assigned user. It'll update this and then remove me from the list. So when we go back over to the Salesforce side, we can see in the contact record, that the information has been printed over here, including the submission date, etc. So what we wanna do here is um, we create a couple of reports. One on the contact side, which you can see it's come through, and then one on the lead side, because there will be some leads that uh, come through and some of them will be contacts already. So we wanna be able to capture both and I'll show you how to bring that all together soon. So we essentially just filter by submission date because we've got, we've got that submission date field on both objects. Now, on when, when you wanna bring all this type of information together, we've created a little dashboard here And you can add your components as you as you sort of build your reports out. Because we've grouped them, we can do it all 
like this. And now you've got, and obviously you can build, it, build on this and put other components in, but you'll be able to see as you refresh this incrementally during the day, how many submissions, form submissions have come through from Pardot, regardless of if they are brand new or if um, they're already existing in your system. Now, obviously we can go in and edit some of these reports now um, to show based on the form submission number, whether they are brand new or not. So if we were to go into the reports <clears throat> and let's just say, let's use this contact. Well, the contact's probably not, not a good idea because they already, they already are a contact, but let's use the lead. Now you might want to create a new one by going save as form submissions today by leads existing. So we know how many characters. Okay. Now what we can show here is we can go in and say, yes, we want to see today or maybe month to date or whatever it might be. But you also want to add that handy form submissions field. And you want to choose greater or equal to two. And what that means is it's only going to show you people who have submitted a form previously and who have, who have come through a second time. So like I said, when you start to get into this sort of granularity, this is really handy for um, businesses who run a lot of advertising and want to sort of attribute revenue and understand, you know, are our, are our inquiries converting to business straight away? Do they need to come through a couple of different channels or a couple of different ways before they're converting into revenue? Um, so this sort of information has been very handy for some of our customers in the past and you can end up with a dashboard that can be um, that can be very useful great so hope you um, got something from this today as always please feel free to reach out and ask questions be more than happy to answer them for you cheers hey guys thanks for watching that episode we hope you got a lot of value out of it please don't forget to subscribe and engage with the content because a lot of it is driven by you guys, the user. So we need to know your feedback. Cheers.